Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's guide, we will be focusing on Gulder. Gulder is basically one of the tankiest Temtem in the entire game with a pure toxic type. It has only one weakness and that is where. This makes it very very difficult to focus this Temtem down. The insane HP pool that Gulder has has only one disadvantage to be honest and that will be the speed that he has which is really really low he is really slow which puts him in a pretty pretty bad spot and i'm not gonna lie there is only one temtem that came or that was introduced in the game the trade deceit aura from naga isse when that came in temtem Gulder got completely flipped over because the slowest temtem in the game became the fastest temtem in the game just because of Deceit Aura. So what Deceit Aura does, if you don't know, is that uh, the slower moves go first. It inverts the turn, uh, turns in the, inverts the moves in a specific turn. So the Gulder that usually goes last will always goes first. So that makes Gulder the fastest bamboozler in the game when the Nagas is on the field. And it also allows Nagas to set madness buff and break through the enemy team while you can just bamboozle the Naga is safe. Coming to the traits for Gulder, we have Strong Liver over here and Punching Bag. The thing about the Strong Liver is that it just has a lot more of a of time you can say just because there are not many melee techniques being used in the meta right now. So I would de definitely recommend you to start with strong, a Strong Liver if you are a new player. Uh, basically it heals you whenever you take toxic damage so you can never take toxic damage. Now let's jump into the items and the gear and I'll explain you how those work and why are the choices for those. So here we are in the item section. So the item I would definitely recommend is coat. There is nothing else other than coat that I would recommend because if you have the coat it will actually allow you to live 3 turns against the, even the strongest win moves in the game like Agnoxia Tornado. You will live 3. Uh, three wind attacks at least before dying and a uh, double Koish fire lava as well fire lava waves or uh, that so I would definitely recommend code for the wind attacks and the bulkiness in the spread that I will show later on in the uh, in the video for that as for the builds uh, I would recommend to have toxic ink in the moves because that is the only poison stab that you have as a builder it will always go first as long as you're under a Nagas or with a Nagas and you will see I mentioned a lot of Nagas in this video because there is no Gulder without Nagas and no Nagas without Gulder. They are just made for each other. The traits complement each other a lot. Bamboozle is your bread and butter in this uh, moveset because you are basically the fastest when the Nagas is in there. So this Bamboozle is going to give you a lot of value. If you have a Naga, you just mad as buff. Um, Harmful Lick is the highest damage that a Gulder has, even more than the Toxic Ink if you do not count the, uh, the Toxic Ink damage. The Ticks I mean, so if you have a poisoned, uh, poisoned opponent already or a Poisoned Temtem on the other side, Harmful Lick would be the way to go. Uh, the last move is always about either Metabolize or, you know, Shy Shield or anything else. Uh, but the thing is the value, you cannot get a good value of Shy Shield or let's just say pollution just because they are very situational but metabolize is really good if you have a naga you can quickly pull out a metabolize and you know take the poison out and heal up if you have a nature in your team then it's even stronger because it gives you a regeneration for two turns as well so it is in general just very good now let's jump into the tv spreads for Gulder and the one i would recommend would be let's go into it so here we are, this is the TV spread that I would recommend for Builder. 482 HP, 29 stamina, 223 defense and 266 spe special defense. Uh, the reason why you want 29 stamina is that it will make you go to 61, which means you can do 5 toxic cakes or bamboozles uh, without getting overexerted, which is really really what you want with the Builder, so definitely go for that much. Uh, the 223 defense is uh, is your choice if you want you can go that much bulk if you don't want that then 2 defense is just fine 
266 special defense along with coat allows you to withstand the strongest of wind attacks for at least three turns uh, another spread that i would recommend was gonna be 221 attack two defense and 266 special defense the stamina and hp stays the same this basically allows you to two hit knock out the nagas when it's in the opponent team Coming to the allies for Gulder, it's very obvious that you want a Naga if a Gulder is in your team because that is what makes Gulder Gulder. And Kino, having a Kino on your team aside of, aside, like on side of the Gulder is really really good. The protector buff just makes it even difficult to defeat or to, you know, kill the Gulder. It's just a lot of value for you for having it aside of Gulder. Revitalize also helps you know uh, make uh, heal up Gulder because Gulder has very limited healing by itself. Other than metabolize, it does not have anything uh, to save itself. As for the threats, as I said earlier in the video, it's a toxic type and it is only feared by wings. So be careful of the wind temptants. And other than that, um, that would be all for Gulder, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. If you would like to see me make another video on another of your favorite Temptum that we have not covered yet, drop them in the comments below as well. If you like the content we are making, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Click the notification button so you can see the next video in this playlist come up as soon as possible and you get notified for it. With that being said guys, I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Please stay safe and take care of yourself.